Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Aurelia. Last week we have started building a really big project, the crater that we can see right here. Today we are going to expand it in the direction of the downtown, kind of connecting these places. It's mostly going to be residential buildings, some offices here and there, and obviously a lot of procedural objects, as we are going to do yet another multi-level blocks with some green areas, as well as some detailing and stuff like that. Alright, so at first I, again, was not exactly sure how to approach this area. I thought that I'm just going to uh, start expanding the crater kind of all around, but then I really wanted to just focus on one place in particular, which is going to be this one, kind of connecting it uh, with the downtown area, making, you know, these two places kind of look like they are just one part, right? So we had still some areas directly uh, near the main area of the crater that we have been focusing on in the last episode, which was kind of this, uh, let's say, second level or maybe third level actually uh, in here. So I downloaded, well, I actually already had these uh, from the previous episode, those uh, those brick, different brick uh, Dutch buildings, I think. And they really do uh, form really nice uh, rows like that. They are obviously made for that. So I used them and created those uh, little like uh, uh, first layer of uh, blocks, let's say, in this, in this particular place. And then on top of them, I put uh, these different looking buildings. I had to use a lot of procedural objects again, that's probably no surprise at this point, because I really needed to customize the uh, sizes of these buildings, especially in the in the first uh, layer. So I'm not really, in this video, I'm not really showing like absolutely everything that I'm doing in here. I decided that I'm just going to use uh, the footage from, you know, some more interesting parts of the build. I'm no longer showing, at least not completely, uh, like putting down like the fake surfaces, like the grass and all that, because, you know, it's mostly the same thing all over again. So just uh, doing these uh, these shots of the most interesting parts, like, for example, uh, customizing this uh, office building, I think it was originally, into into that little, again, like a sub level, sub layer of that particular block of buildings. And then using the same thing in here as well to put it uh, on the on the corner of that. Now in here, you can see that I also built uh, those little roads that go inside the blocks, but they are dead ends. I'm just having them there to kind of uh, give the idea that uh, there might be some kind of an underground parking lot or something like that. And again, customizing the entrance like this with uh, those office, fake office buildings to make them work. Now, this place is something that uh, I actually talked about last time. I showed it in the previous episode, these the, the little concrete uh, roof over that one lane or one half of that uh, main avenue street down below here so that I would be able to put some buildings on top of it and kind of overlap it over the road, right? So that's exactly what I was starting to do in here. I used these, uh, I, think, I think, Swedish buildings and uh, I made them into procedural objects uh, for a good reason because I had to uh, get rid of the foundation block, you know, Every building in this game, if you place it down and the model touches the ground, then the game itself kind of uh, prolongs it, you know, down deep underground kind of. So if you, for example, you move it and raise the building up, you still have some kind of a like a foundation block or something. So I obviously had to get rid of it because, you know, there's the road underneath these buildings. So that uh, would not look good. So I changed it into procedural object. And then you could have seen me putting some like weird looking the green cubes inside of these buildings and those are actually my newest additions in the workshop they are like a fake a blank buildings that uh, you basically assign a function to them residential in this case and just put them somewhere they have a they have a, an entrance like a how do you call it door marker and you just put it there and people are you know going towards it so the building kind of looks like it's working i think this is actually something that uh, you know i've been talking about in the previous episode, someone even suggested it in the comments um, like a long time ago. Now, this place I'm really proud of. This building in here perfectly, absolutely perfectly fits that tram road. The building is uh, is having like a like a first uh, like an entrance block, let's say, which is which has a wall that's angled at 45 degrees, which is exactly the same angle for this uh, or. Or this railroad, you know, compared to the main avenue 
below it it's also you know inclined by 45 degrees and this building just fits so so nicely i also put this elevator the pedestrian elevator there and made it functional as well and uh, there's going to be a tram stop directly on this uh, on this tram bridge i haven't really finished uh, this uh, tram road on the other side of the avenue there's going to be a nice cinematic shot of this place uh, towards the end of this episode but uh, this place this place is going to be looking great and it's all thanks to that one office building that's just absolutely perfect for for this area now putting down some of these uh, some of these buildings in here again but uh, this is kind of where we are going to like end this expansion in this direction we are kind of exactly you know on the opposite side of the crater from the side that i was talking about that we're going to focus on in today's episode so this is actually something that i just wanted to do on the side here to kind of finish that uh, place where the tram stop the tram bridge over the main avenue is going to be so we are back in in here kind of on the opposite side of this uh, this concrete shed roof over that uh, over that avenue and we are doing some construction over it again a lot of procedural objects in here a lot of different residential and office buildings I haven't really built that many uh, commercial buildings in today's episode, in today's expansion of the town, because I really felt like it was necessary to just do a lot of residential buildings. And if a residential building was not really suitable for one particular area, maybe because of like, you know, close proximity to some, I don't know, weird structures that would, uh, that would just not fit that place, you know, residential buildings would not fit that place. Like for example, those walkways, how they go, how they go through the block it kind of felt weird to put residential there so i did those uh, commercial buildings now we are at the corner in here where i started the main avenue and i decided to put some really tall buildings in here i think that uh, white-ish looking building is called some, something water like water first water place something like that it's a real life building from real life and on the opposite side of the street i put another real life building again don't know the name of it and in here i put these uh, really nice looking residential buildings and i kind of decided to prolong that one part the longer part of the building made it even longer using a procedural version of that uh, first you know actual functional building and then it kind of occurred to me that uh, we already created like a inner block in this bigger you know area and something had to be done in here some kind of a multi-level thingy so at first i just put that uh, asphalt road on the top kind of raised it and then you know inside this uh, little i don't know how to call this place inside this little courtyard let's say i wanted to put something below that level of the first road that i first created and i thought you know parking lot let's do a parking lot in here i know that i don't want to do i i said it before that i don't want to do many many parking lots in this city at least not visible but this is kind of like a semi underground parking lot and it's going to be covered with uh, well it's not really going to be covered it's going to be partially covered only partially with some of these uh, like uh, buildings around i'm not going to cover it with glass just like i did with uh, some different like a sunken area so this is going to be open and it's going to be looking actually really really great again some nice cinematic shots of this place towards uh, the end of this episode now i had to convert uh, one portion of this uh, again actually you can see it in the video it's something something water i can't really read it because when i'm doing commentary for the videos i'm just looking at uh, like a small like a low resolution part of the video which is being played in the in the video editing software so i can't exactly read all the information that's on the screen right but uh, yeah i think this building is called water something whatever you probably know it if you have it right it's kind of you know unique so i had to convert one part of it uh, into procedural objects so i can create like an extension of it underneath this uh, road that's going into that upper layer of those roads in that one block right and it actually turned out really really nice and you know made it much easier to like finish that place underneath that ascending road now in here i decided i really want to continue that uh, high rise uh, feel for this area so i put that uh, triangle looking building again absolutely no idea what its name is into 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 that little block uh, where you know the intersection is so it actually creates like a 45 degree angle between those roads so the building fits perfectly and the same goes for these uh, riga offices yes i know the name for these buildings 
they are the Riga offices and they are also having a 45 degree between the between the walls and I decided to just use a lot of them a lot of copies of these buildings to create a one block because this entire block in here actually is like a triangle so building it with only those Riga offices kind of felt nice and just like with pretty much every other you know projects in this series we are going to cover the roof with something green and uh, then later just decorate it you know make it somewhat uh, nicer right so this was actually kind of uh, you know straightforward i suppose even though those Riga offices blocks those actually took me a long time before i figured out how exactly i want to do it now this building in here actually looks absolutely perfect it's obviously hyper futuristic in in the terms of you know how it looks but it just feels this it just fits this place really really nicely so we are kind of already having a very nice idea of what this place is going to be like and at this point i think it was just a straightforward um, detailing i suppose and finishing all these blocks making them work making them look really really nice as you can see i was uh, having that little pedestrian walk walk path going over that sunken avenue kind of ending pretty much nowhere you can see that i have some buildings on the other side of that sunken avenue but they won't be in the cinematics i later destroyed them i'm not exactly satisfied with those and it's not really a part of you know today's video today's video is all about this side of the main avenue the the one that's covered with uh, with the concrete roof right now in here i really wanted to fill those those blocks between you know those old all the buildings kind of fill the inside block i suppose and procedural objects again as you can see that's kind of uh, you know what procedural objects are all about in this series kind of uh, used to fill some places with like custom uh, custom shaped buildings like these for example this office i really like to use all the time this office i first like distorted the original size of it and then i used one version that i made smaller in scale and only used those uh, like acs and ventilations and whatnot you know that little circle that we can see here and put it inside this block so it fits nicely there and creates you know like some acs and ventilation for those buildings that are in there but at the same time they are obviously perfectly fitting that area so it's all good it's all it's all looking it's all looking like it really fits that place you know it all looks like it's not just like a weird uh, connection of buildings but it actually feels like it's uh, having some kind of a purpose right so some more of these residential buildings over here i'm not i don't think i'm showing it in the video but i did make them functional even though they are pr procedural object buildings i did use that uh, little uh, blocks those little cube cubes uh, that i showed uh, in the in at the start of this video i was using those then i pretty much uh, put them in uh, all of these all of these buildings so that we actually increased the population of the city quite a lot since uh, last episode i don't really remember exactly how much we had but how many people we had in the city but uh, i think we are sitting at around 20k towards this episode which is which is really good now we had two asphalt roads on different levels coming over this main avenue down here and i also recently acquired this building that has a hole in it as you can see in there which is perfect i mean if you see a building like that you are obviously going to think yes there is going to be something coming through that uh, portion of the building it's kind of you know straightforward like everyone probably uh, you know thinks that at least i did so the building was not exactly correct size so i had to reshape it with procedural objects again no surprises here and then i put those two asphalt roads uh, through it this place is something that i'm not really going to cover in today's episode because it's not really finished it's not really you know well thought yet it's uh, it's just going to be for the future we are just going to concentrate on these blocks now i also acquired uh, some of these animated uh, billboards or commercials advertisements or something like that well not exactly this one this is just like a some kind of a art animated but i decided that i'm actually going to start doing these in the city that i'm going to start doing some kind of commercials in the city and it felt perfect to put it on this building because it's kind of plain it doesn't have that many windows so you know something had to be put on this building not to mention that this square on on this corner i suppose it's kind of going to be more visible more important so making it you know flashy and nice it just felt right okay 
But uh, there's going to be a cinematic of this area, but obviously this area is not done yet. Uh, the portion of on the other side of the street from the one that I'm decorating right now is obviously not yet done. So we are going to be, we are definitely going to be seeing that uh, those commercials on that building in different episodes as well, as we are going to continue the expansion of the city in that direction. Anyway, guys, that's almost it for today's episode. At first, I thought I won't show that much progress here, that I didn't build that much. But in the end, I think some serious progress has been made together with maybe some preparations for future builds. So let's go see some cinematics of all this and I'll see you in the next episode. But as always, if you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Take care and goodbye.